Bloomberg Audio Studios. Podcasts, radio, news. TikTok has been sued by over a dozen states for allegedly deceiving users about its safety for children and for using addictive features to keep kids on the platform longer to maximize profits. One of those states is New Jersey. As Attorney General Matt Platkin joins us now for more. Attorney General, why pick this particular fight with TikTok? It's already being sued by the feds for child privacy issues. It might even be banned in the United States. Tell us the underlying reason for pursuing this. Well, we know we're facing a youth mental health crisis in this country, and unfortunately, New Jersey is no exception. And as we have shown in a number of actions, we know that social media companies have knowingly targeted our youth in ways that have damaged their mental health and caused them real harm. And then to make matters worse, they've told the public that these products are safe when they themselves know they are not. So the lawsuits that New Jersey and several other states filed yesterday are meaningfully different than the lawsuit that you referenced that the Department of Justice has filed. It's for violation of our state consumer laws for, again, misleading the public about the safety of their products and deliberately treating our youngest residents as nothing more than commodities. Let's talk about what's materially different from October the 24th last year when New Jersey and other states also sued Meta, the parent company of Instagram or Facebook, again to protect children, mental health and the like. How are the two actions different? What do you see in particular with TikTok? Well, legally, they're distinct lawsuits. And these investigations have uh, been underway for some time. And investigations of these kinds take time. But as a general matter, we know that social media companies like Meta and TikTok have targeted our youth, have deliberately taken steps to keep our youth on their platforms for long periods of time, have implemented features like uh, TikTok has with respect to body image features that allow you to uh, put yourself on TikTok as if you had plastic surgery or extensive makeup that cause real harm to kids' mental health. That's created body dysmorphia crises and uh, mental health crises, particularly amongst young girls. And so in that sense, this, the lawsuits are similar in that you see similar patterns across them, uh, but they are distinct lawsuits. And Meta, because the Department of Justice had not filed a uh, federal claim about children's privacy um, in Meta, we filed a claim there under that law, whereas the Department of Justice, as you noted, had stepped in on TikTok, so we did not need to file a federal claim. Uh, but otherwise, there are, there are some similarities across the two complaints. Well, uh, Attorney General Platkin, f forgive me, but, but for many of your constituents, that, that's a fair question. What, what's the point? There is a federal suit against TikTok. There's a legislative effort to get it banned in this country, and you've chosen a long path uh, with this specific initiative. Why do it if there are all those others already in place, some of which have analogous goals with what you're trying to achieve? Well, the federal lawsuit, plain and simple, covers different conduct. Here we're talking about deliberately misleading the public about the safety of their products, about telling people that their product is safe when they know it's not, when the United States Surgeon General has said publicly it's not, that they should have a warning label on it. And kids are using TikTok in particular for hours and hours a day. When we know just a few hours of TikTok a day can cause significant mental health harms to our kids. Now, I'm the state's attorney general. I'm the chief law enforcement officer for 9.3 million people. My job is to keep them safe. And when I see a company peddling a product, targeting our youngest residents, treating them for nothing more than dollar signs, and putting profit ahead of their mental health, then I have an obligation to step in and protect them. And that's what this lawsuit and the lawsuit against Meta is doing. Mr. Platkin, if this proceeds and goes before a jury, how will you show that what TikTok does is intentional, that it is malicious, um, in, in, in your accusation that they are profiting off young users? Well, I'm not going to speak to uh, what we'd eventually show at a trial, but I think our complaint lays out very clearly w uh, what TikTok knew and uh, the harms that their products have caused, including the, uh, the result is that we have essentially compulsive users 
of TikTok products ages 13 to 17 throughout our state and throughout this country. And we know at the same time we're experiencing a massive spike in mental health challenges for our youths, suicidal ideation, depression, anxiety, all up at historic levels. Um, so we're very confident in the case that we've brought against TikTok. We obviously wouldn't bring a lawsuit like this if we didn't feel very confident in our case and if we weren't prepared to take on what is, as with Meta, one of the largest companies in the world. And my message is simple. We're ready for that fight. New Jersey Attorney General Matt Platkin, thank you very much for your time.